I just saw the latest Universal Monster film, Lisa Frankenstein, and I think that this is going to be the next big horror cult classic that will resonate with a lot of different people. The film takes inspiration from many different sources. Films such as the classic Universal Monster films, but also early Tim Burton, Heathers, John Hughes movies. All of these different things combine together to create something that is entirely itself. The film was written by the same writer who wrote Jennifer's Body. And full disclosure, I have not seen Jennifer's Body, but I'm well aware of its history on how everybody hated it when it came out and since it has become a massive cult favorite because the critics at the time truly just did not understand it because it was so ahead of its time. And I think that Lisa Frankenstein is going to become a very similar type of film. It's currently not really getting the best reviews from critics right now, and I haven't really looked at the box office, but I doubt that it's going to do well. I mean, it is technically the big Valentine's film of the year, with it this also being a horror rom-com, but I don't know. I don't know if most couples will want to see this uh, Heather's inspired, Tim Burton inspired horror comedy on their little Valentine's date. However, if you're awesome, then you will. And Catherine Newton as Lisa was also fantastic. I loved her in Freaky. I think she did a very great job playing those two characters. And I think she also does a really good job at playing your typical Tim Burton outcast before getting more and more twisted as the film continues. And I think that's something I really do admire about this film, that it does, in fact, give you all of the cool kills and the dark stuff that you would like to see from a movie like this but it also has a really good love story attached to it i mean i don't think it's like the new romeo and juliet or anything but like that but it is still a compelling love story that you kind of get you in the mood during the valentine season uh, I, uh some of the negatives i have with this film is that i wish it was a little bit funnier now don't get me wrong it is funny and there were one or two jokes and one kill that had me absolutely flooring. But I kind of wish the humor was a little bit stronger and didn't necessarily rely on monster shenanigans most of the time. But then again, it also does play into the classic 80s tropes, what this film is definitely trying to go for with, oh, you got a creature, you kind of got to hide it, you know, like E.T. and Harry and the Hendersons.